Let's bring up with the great movie uh, Rocco Possum Fume. <laughs> Yes. I really love this movie called yes. The Revenant. Yes, indeed. Um, the movie that I did is none other than The Revenant. It is directed by Alejandro Iñárritu and it stars Leonardo DiCaprio, Tom Hardy, Don Hall Gleason, and Will Powler. It's based on a novel by Michael Punk. It takes place in 1823, where frontiersman Hugh Glass, played by DiCaprio, sustains injuries after being attacked by a bear. And uh, basically, his hunting party that was with him leaves him for dead, and he must now go through the elements to try to go back to his family, as well as find John Fitzgerald, played by Tom Hardy, um, who was part of his hunting party, that um, basically left him for dead, and they found out that he, uh, was, he betrayed him as well, basically. So the incredible thing about this movie is that you look on the surface, the movie's, you know, like your standard... Western revenge type of film, but what makes this separate from a lot of you know movies of its kind is the way it it looks. It looks fantastic. It's shot in like very brutal elements, and you really feel like you're part of the environment. And you know, in an age where you know w watching movies in the theater is all about being immersed in the whole world of it, you really feel immersed in the whole world of it, and. To really contribute to that particularly is Leonardo DiCaprio. Leonardo DiCaprio, he has had a phenomenal career. He's, he's managed to top himself every single time out a lot of the time. And this really has sort of been, if, if he hadn't had a crown jewel of performances before in his career, this is the one. This is like, he's just ph phenomenal in this movie. He is so, he really makes this character, Hugh Glass, come alive in terms of the... Um, you know, the struggle that he goes through, the injuries that he has to, you know, deal with in order to come back, you know, uh, and survive this brutal, harsh winter environment that he finds himself in. And some of the stuff that goes on in this movie is pretty gruesome. And, and, uh, and, and that, um, this movie is not going to be for everybody. everybody. Some people are going to find it a little much for, you know, people that normally want to watch really high caliber movies. This is definitely more intense than your normal high caliber movie, but this is a really excellent movie all around. Like I said, it totally reinvents something that's been, you know, done before m multiple times, but really gives it like a fresh angle in terms of, you know, not even just the, it's not even so much the idea of the fact that it's about, you know, the revenge aspect or the Western motif of it, but the fact that it's about survival. And, and, and I don't think I've seen a movie about survival, this kind of, in, just, just unique and just so, like you could tell, like you could really feel the struggle of DiCaprio shooting these scenes, and you feel the, the, the struggle of the crew shooting these scenes, because you know they, they they really wanted to make this as realistic as possible, and you really feel it. This is a movie that you must see in the theater. This is not like one of those movies you wait on for home video. This is a movie that has to be experienced in the full glow of a big screen and big surround sound and. I mean, there have been a couple of movies I've seen this year that were really, you know, high caliber that I really think could win the Oscar. I gotta tell you, this, out of every single one, and I know I love Spotlight, Spotlight was one of my favorites this year, but I feel like this one blows Spotlight away completely. I think Alejandro Iñárritu has done it again, like after Birdman last year, he's managed to really create films that are, that really give you like a powerful feel to them. You know, I mean, even if you don't completely identify with what's going on in the movie, or sometimes if the story is a little familiar to you, he really creates a kind of cinema that's all his own, and, and he really has topped himself with this. So, I give The Revenant a perfect five out of five stars. So, thank you very much. All right. Great job. And uh, next week, I'm real excited, because Rocco and Rich are going to collaborate with a fabulous, fascinating segment uh, which will really touch on both of their great talents. Um, we're going to talk about three tragedies. Uh, one tragedy took the lives of Richie Valens and Buddy Holly. The other tragedy took the life of uh, Jim Croce. And the third tragedy took the life of, life of Aaliyah. And these are all great musicians who were young, at the beginning of their careers, had decades and decades of brilliance ahead, and Rocco's going to touch at the point of their careers when they lost their lives. And Rich will talk about, because all three tragedies were completely different, have completely different stories. So they're going to come at it from both angles. So it's going to be a quite fascinating and compelling segment for next week. And now let's bring up.